Jerry Brinkman at BereanNation.com. This morning I was reading uh, in Mark chapter 11, and I want to read here verses 12 to 14. It says, On the next day, when he had left Bethany, he became hungry. Seeing at a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to see if perhaps he would find anything on it, and when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. He said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples were listening. Now, the greater context of the passage is the triumphal entry was the day before this. Uh, he's actually on his way to upset a few tables at the temple and, uh, you know, make a whip out of cords and beat some livestock at a minimum and not let anybody carry merchandise through the temple itself. Um, now, I've heard it said that Jesus was condemning Israel in his judgment of the fig tree. Now, there are several articles there that kind of make sense, but there are several articles that don't make sense to me, coming at it from that perspective. Certainly, Israel has been used... Uh, or has been identified with the fig tree in scripture. But it's also not the only kind of tree that it's been identified with, the olive tree, the cedar tree. All of those have been used to represent is Israel. So you cannot dogmatically state that Israel is the fig tree. You just can't. Um, yeah, so there's also something else going on here. And it says... Um, it was not the season for figs, but the tree was in leaf. So what Jesus was actually looking for was is called the early fruit. Um, that's something that arrives ahead of time, ahead of schedule. And almost all fig trees, if you know anything about fig trees, apparently offer early fruit. Some do not. Not sure if that's a genetic variation in the fig tree or what the case is, but Jesus was actually looking for early fruit. And when it didn't have that early fruit, he cursed the tree and the tree withered from the roots up. It tells us a little later in the chapter. You know, as I've said, I've heard that this is talking about Israel and he was looking for fruit from Israel. Well, yeah, okay. I, I think you can make a much more personal application here. Are you ready? Are you presenting to God the early fruit of your salvation? Because if you are not, I think there are dire consequences. If you are, then keep on keeping on, brother or sister. Now, what does it mean to show the early fruit? Well, are you praying every day? Are you reading the scripture? Are you worshiping God every day? Are you fellowshipping with other believers? That's your early fruit. We're talking about it in our video series, Discipleship 101, in fact. And these are critical to the Christian life. If you want to bear early fruit, there you are. So, listen, that's my opinion. I'm not going to be dogmatic on my statements here, but... I'm Jerry Brinkman, and this is Berean Nation, and you need to keep studying the scriptures daily to see if these things are so.